private sector asset reconstruction companies or the ARCs are in the business of buying bad loans from banks and NBFCs. The two decade old industry with 26 plus players will now have the first public sector ARC to be set up by the state owned banks. The need for a new ARC is part of the government's strategy to clean up the PSB's balance sheet post COVID outbreak. While the banks are still grappling with pre COVID NPAs, the fresh bad loans are likely to come from the unsecured personal loan, credit card, small traders, MSMEs, and the services sector. The bank loans locked up in these segments are close to rupees 30 lakh crore. While the more players in the bad loan market are always welcome, there is also a need for empowering the ARCs for a faster resolution. So far, ARCs' track record is not very encouraging. Partly, the regulation doesn't allow them the flexibility to operate like private funds. There are also capital limitations. In a timely move, the RBI has decided to review the existing legal and regulatory framework. But before diving into the likely regulatory relaxation, let us first understand the operations of ARCs in India. ARCs acquire bad loans from banks and NBFCs at a price less than the book value. They pay upfront cash for a mix of 15% cash and issue security receipt to banks for the remaining amount. These investment receipts or SRs are repaid once the recovery happens over a period of 5 years. The recovery period can extend in some cases up to a maximum of 8 years. Once ARC gets the bad loan, the legal process of resolution starts which involves negotiation, restructuring of debt, change of management, stake sale, complete business sale and eventual liquidation. In theory, the banks no longer have to chase the defaulter and the specialized ARCs restructure and resolve the loan. But it is easier said than done, which also reflects in their average recovery record in the last decade. So how to empower ARCs? Or how to make ARCs more effective? Here is a checklist. The ARCs were set up under the SARFAC Act 2002 as an agent of banks and NBFCs to recover the bad loan. This SARFAC Act needs amendment to better align the regulation with the new insolvency and bankruptcy code for faster recovery. Second, the RBI doesn't allow ARCs to buy any bad loan linked to fraud or any fraudulent activity. There is always a very high tendency of frauds in any bad loan. So this dictact leaves many of the bad loan assets out of the reach of the ARCs. ARCs should be permitted to acquire these assets under investigation for fraud at a mutually agreed price. ARCs are also not allowed to participate in the IBC process as resolution applicant. Today, the IBC offers a much faster and better mechanism to restructure and sell asset to the highest bidders. Fourth, the SARFAC Act allows ARCs to hold only up to a 26% equity and that too by way of conversion of existing debt into equity. But it doesn't allow ARCs to acquire additional equity directly or invest fresh equity into the company. The Act also prohibits ARCs to do any business other than that of resolution of bad assets. These restrictive conditions doesn't allow ARCs a level playing field with other fund or acquirers. Last but not the least, the RBI should redesign the bad loan buying structure. Some 8 years ago, the RBI had revised the structure of upfront cash and SR receipt. Earlier, it was 5% cash, 95% SR. Later, it was changed to 15% cash, 85% SRs. There are also challenges for ARCs to protect their capital in a current 15 to 85 structure if the assumed recovery doesn't happen. The liquidity in SR is also a big issue for banks as they end up holding something which is not liquid. It is high time the RBI should look into these areas for relaxing the regulatory framework for ARCs. IBC ARC combo actually offers the best resolution mechanism to not only restructure the bad loans but also put them to productive purposes in a much faster way.